I'm not sure about you guys, but it seems like in Fallout 4, I never have enough bottle caps. And I don't know exactly why that is, like I still haven't figured it out, but it just seems like you don't get as much in this game. And because of that, I'm making this video to show you guys or, and tell you guys about two tips that I have for making a good amount of money, as well as a glitch if you do want to go that route. I'll start with the tips first, and keep in mind, these are not going to give you 50,000 caps overnight. Like, you're still going to have to progress and play through the game, but you will get a good amount of money doing these things compared to if you didn't. So, number one, create jet and sell jet. It's fairly easy to make. All you need is plastic and fertilizer. Plastic, you can find that pretty much all around the map. And fertilizer, if you actually go to the Abernathy farm, which I'll show here on the map, you can get it from there. There's a few bags lying in their house. You're going to have to steal it. Or if you want to complete their mission or their quest, you can actually get it from their workbench for free. You can also buy it from the lady there if you want to. But again, if you're going to buy it, then you're going to be getting less money in the end. Once you have that fertilizer and once you have plastic, go to a crafting station for the chems and create the jet. You can make as many as you want. And what you can do is sell this. Now, I will say... If you sell this to a regular vendor, you're not going to get that much. You're still going to make a decent profit uh, if you do combine it with, like, Charisma Clothing and Grape Mentats, which will bump up your Charisma by 5, I think. I'll take a look. Then you can get it to around 40. I'll show that here in the uh, in the gameplay. And, again, 40 for this isn't bad, especially if you do make a lot of them. But I will say, if you go to this vault right here, Vault 81, and you don't do the quest for it just yet, you can talk to this guy in the reactor room. His name is Bobby. He will actually buy Jet from you for 75 caps, which is a ton considering it takes pretty much nothing to make. And I'm pretty sure I made 25 Jet to go in this place, and that is roughly $2,000 that I'm going to be walking away with, which is fairly good considering you don't make as much money as quickly in this game. So that is my first tip, create Jet and sell it. My next tip, and this one may seem pretty obvious, but... I don't know, many people may not do this, and they may have a ton of ammo in their inventory that they're not using. So, this tip is to get the Scrounger perk. You have to have Luck 2, and what this perk will allow you to do is find more ammo in containers in the wasteland. There is a Luck 1 perk, which will allow you to find more bottle caps, but I would honestly suggest that the Scrounger one, where you find more ammo, is more useful. Because ammo, one, it can be sold, but it also can be used in your guns. And I'm not going to lie, once I got this perk, there was a significant increase in the amount of ammo I found in containers. And what you can actually do with this ammo, obviously, two things. You can use it if you have a gun that needs it, or if you don't have a gun that needs it. Like for me, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell my 38 ammo, my 5mm ammo, and the 5.56 ammo, and I will make a pretty decent profit. And again, if you go around playing the game, you loot all the chests and everything, you will get, you know, upwards of 500, 600 ammo for a certain thing. If you have a better gun that doesn't use that ammo, sell it all because you're literally just wasting it in your inventory. And this has helped me out a lot of times when a trader has a really good gun that's, say, three or $4,000, but I don't have enough money. I can sell all my ammo pretty much that I'm not using if I have a lot of it, and it will bump the price down. It's pretty much free money that you also get ammo for, for your regular gun so i mean it's really a win-win situation and considering you only need luck to to get this perk it's pretty much a no-brainer for me so those are the two tips i have again they're fairly simple but in the long run they will get you some more money now i know there's a way that you can get a pretty decent amount apparently with settlements you can open up traders and stuff i haven't exactly figured that out yet but at least at the start of the game you can do these two things and get a decent amount of money now get into the glitch you don't need to do this it's a single player game this isn't going to harm anybody don't get mad that I'm showing this. It's completely up to you if you want to do this. And even the glitch doesn't give you 50,000 caps, you know, in an instant. It's only 300 every day, pretty much. Also, this is mainly for console people, just because PC, obviously, you can console command money in. So it's not that big of a deal. And I don't know if this works at every vendor, but if we go into the Diamond City Market, it worked on all of them. Go up to Arturo or one of the people there that sells ammo, and then just pick one like the 308 ammo and purchase it all but don't hit accept just yet when it's in your inventory and you see the little square next to it sell back one once you sell back one then sell it all back and you should see one 308 round or whatever the ammo is still in your inventory and that is the glitched ammo and then you can just sell that one over and over again until the guy runs out of money 
Now, what you can do is actually wait 24 hours, and his money should reset, and you can redo this again. But if you wanted to cheat, wanted to just get a good amount of money, so you felt comfortable, then you can do this. Again, you purchase all the ammo, and then you sell one back, and then you sell it all back. You should have one glitched in your inventory. Just sell that until the guy runs out of ammo, and you should be good to go. Anyway, that is it. Hopefully, this money guide helped you guys. Drop a like if you did enjoy and found it helpful. Again, don't get mad at me for a money glitch in a single player game. That will never affect you if you don't do it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching again. As always, it's your boy Saints fan though. I'm out. Peace.